Hey, how's it going everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the archive of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, yeah, this is a figure that I really just wasn't planning on getting. But the fact that I have Archive Anakin, I kind of needed this, but I was never going to pay full price. But I found this one on GameStop's app for $12.48. I figured, you know, it's probably not going to get much lower than that. So here we are. And of course, it comes on an archive card, and this one arrived this way. Someone had put stickers all over this thing, and then they tried to remove them, and then they sent it to me. So yeah, pretty, pretty poor right there. I hate that. But you got Star Wars The Black Series there, archive on this side, Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. Through the window, you can see this peanut-headed Obi-Wan. <laughs> got his lightsaber. Got a great picture there. Bottom is the barcode and some mouse print, and on the back, you have the same picture as the front, just more of it. You have a short bio in various languages, and here we are with the Lucasfilm timeline with episode three, and then you got some more stuff there and some warnings that no one looks at. And I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says, Obi-Wan is forced to battle his friend Anakin Skywalker in a devastating lightsaber duel after Anakin turns to the dark side. And one more thing. This card does not have a picture of the original release, you know, like some do. I was fully expecting a picture of either the orange line or the blue line, but no, just the bio, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna get this archive release of Obi-Wan open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got this archive version of Obi-Wan out of the bubble, and let's get a close look. We'll start up here with the head. Yeah, it's, it's better than it was. I can say that. It is better than it was, but the eyes, it looks like he hasn't slept in a week. It's shiny. Now the hair and the beard do look good. You know, it's a nice sculpt, but it's way too blonde. It's just way too blonde. His hair was not this golden color, you know. This is why I never wanted to pay full price for this. Is this, his head, it's so little too. It's way too, way too small. And of course the articulation is terrible. But, um, yeah, that's from the neck up, pfft, it ain't that good. And from the neck down, you know, it's on the old body from 2013, this old Jedi body. The sculpt is pretty good, okay? The tunic does look good. Got a little brown there, it's fine. The texture's very nice. The belt does look nice. You know, the paint is very clean. The pouches look good. There's a little hole there to plug the lightsaber in. Back of the belt looks like that. You know, the pouches look great. Same kind of texture going on up here. Same on the sleeves. You know, the sculpt is okay. You know, it's not terrible. Now, the lower half of the tunic, well, so this part's plastic, okay, that hangs down, but then down here, it's all cloth, and it doesn't stretch much at all. It's a pretty, you know, it's almost like a nylon feeling material. It's kind of weird, uh, but it does not stretch much at all. So this is cloth. The seam line back here is kind of bugging me a little bit. And then the legs, you know, the wrinkles are okay on the pants. And the boots. The sculpt on the boots, I think, looks, you know, pretty good. Got a little strap there. The tops, you know, have this little flap going on up here. Looks great. Yeah, fr from head to toe, it looks like it's supposed to look, for the most part. The head is way undersized, but I'm still happy to have it. Just the fact that I have Archive Anakin, I did kind of need this figure to go with Anakin. $12.48 is not a bad deal for this, for this figure. It's just not great at all. And as far as articulation, you've got some side to side at the head. You have some pretty good down, a little bit of up, zero tilt. The arms, they get up that far. They can rotate around. Now, the elbows are just downright pitiful. They don't even get to 90. They, yeah, that's it. That's all you get. So trying to get the lightsaber in two hands is a bear with this figure. It's not too bad on Anakin, but on Obi-Wan, you really have to push these hands in to get two hands on the saber. Yeah, the arms are really just downright poor. Um, swivel at the wrist. You have side-to-side -side hinges on both hands. There's the right. Left hand, of course, is also hinged side-to-side. -side. You have some swivel at the belt line. Not much in the way of crunch. Hardly any back and hardly any tilt. 
as far as legs, they get up to there. Okay, so this lower half of the tunic, you know, being cloth, it will just flex right up. And of course, these will flex. So the legs can get, you know, that far. They go out. So, okay, if you, if you bring the legs out, this skirt down here just goes flip. That's pretty funny. And then, of, of course, it just lays back down. Let's do that again. Whoop. All right. They go back to their double knees that get that far. All right. Swivel at the upper thigh. Feet go down that far. Yeah, that's good. Oh, come on. Get back up there. They go up that far. And there is some swivel at the ankle. So in the articulation department, it's not great. It's yeah, it's this old body. It's just not very poseable. And as far as accessories, there's the lightsaber that he comes with. The hilt looks great. Some nice gold, kind of bronze color. There's some kind of a shinier gold there. Got a little peg for sticking this thing on his belt. The pommel end looks pretty good. There's the emitter side. That looks nice. Now the blade, I am not a fan of this blade. I don't know what they were thinking. This translucent light bluish color, it's, it's practically clear. I don't know why they went with this. I mean, you can tell it's blue if you look down there. Yes, it is blue, but why they made it translucent, I, yeah, I, got, I have no words. But the hilt does look very nice. And as far as getting this in his hand, the fingers don't want to flex too much, but you can slide the peg, the lightsaber peg, between his fingers and get it in one hand like that. It's not very stable now. It slides around unless you have it all the way at the Nope. Okay, you can put it all the way at the bottom and it kind of stays put. It, yeah, that's frustrating right there. All right, come on. Now, of course, what you can do, you can rotate it just a little bit to put the slight, nope, that doesn't even work. All right, that is terrible. Yeah, and you can see how clear the blade is. Yeah, there he is. Kind of holding his lightsaber. Um, as far as swinging, yeah, he can do sort of a backhand swing like that. Um, he can just have it down by his side, which is not a bad look. Okay, yeah, one hand, it kind of works. Let's try to get this thing in two hands. Yeah, this ought to be fun. <laughs> this, this is a garbage figure. Man, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this. This figure is absolute garbage. That is about the best you can do trying to get this even remotely in two hands. The hands don't get anywhere near one another. Yeah, that is awful. And since we're on the subject of this saber, let's see how it goes on his belt. And wow, okay. That's actually kind of hard to get apart despite being held on by the world's smallest peg. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, so peg on saber goes in the hole on the belt. And that is, I kind of like that. It works well, it's very secure. There's no possible way that's just gonna fall off. Yeah, that looks nice. I mean, it's, I never display any of my figures with the hilt on their belt, but this actually looks very good. So back to keeping the saber in his hand, you can sort of recreate the classic Obi-Wan stance. Um, the elbows are just awful. They don't get to 90, so you can't quite get the saber above his head where it's parallel to the ground. You have to bend the elbow down a little bit and it doesn't look terrible. It's acceptable. I doubt I'm gonna pose him like this because I have um, I have Jedi Knight Obi-Wan like this. I don't want him like this too. I may just kind of keep this, you know, down by his side and maybe just have him in some generic pose like that. For now, I'll probably play with him, but man, these elbows suck. They're terrible. I'm gonna go put him on the shelf and let's see what he looks like there. And here we are and it's okay. The thing that grabs my eye the most is the color of this blade. I mean, what were they thinking? That's terrible. A like a translucent turquoise, just awful. You know, Anakin's blade looks great. This blade is just garbage. But the figure, I mean, yes, I, I kind of need this figure just because of this. It looks okay on the shelf from a distance. But when you get, when you get up close, that head, that head and face, I'm just not impressed. It's, it's way undersized. It's undersized. His eyes look like he's sick. That's unfortunate. They, they should have redid this whole head just like they did with Force Awakens Han 
in the archive line. They should have redid this entire head. Yeah, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty bad. But I'm still happy to have the figure, you know, just to fill in that hole, you know, next to, you know. Um, yeah, but you can see how he scales. He's shorter than Anakin, obviously, and he's a little bit taller than Maul, okay? He's shorter than, you know, clone troopers. But, uh, yeah, that's what he looks like on the shelf there. So, bottom line, it's just not a good figure. You know, being on this old body, the articulation, especially in the arms, it's just, it's practically unusable. The head and face, I mean, I'm going to say it again, it's better than the original, right? It is better than the original, but it's still not, it's still not good. The eyes, the eyes especially, he truly looks sick. You know, like there's something wrong with him. The head is undersized. The hair is too blonde. Um, now from the neck down, the outfit, I think it looks fine. This is what he was wearing in Revenge of the Sith. The tan tunic, the belt, the brown boots. This is all fine. But overall, I'm just, <laughs> it's just not good. But I'm still happy to have it. I'm glad I didn't pay full price. Oh, look, now the saber's blue. If the light hits it just right, now it's blue. But straight on, no. Now, um, I am happy to have this figure, you know, to fill that hole next to Anakin. Okay, I kind of needed this one, but I would have never paid full price. Yeah, this is, this is a $12 action figure right here. That's, <sighs> yeah, those are my thoughts on it. But I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of this archive release of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time.